Parents of Sagittarians, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Parental Guidance, the first and only show on YouTube where we give you monthly insights on how you can better connect with your child. I'm looking at that over there instead of looking at my camera. <laughs> so for, uh, for Sagittarians, I'm a Sagittarius, and I know that you guys know that I look forward to our readings because I'm just like, what's in store for me too? I'm a Sagittarius child. So there's, you may have felt a lot of energy. You may or may not, your child may or may not have had a challenging month, but I know that this year, let alone the past month has been rough. So that's why you guys haven't seen me. Um, let's get into your reading. Hopefully something in the upright. Yes, your child is taking care of themselves. Yep, I don't. I'm, I'm going to look into this, but I don't feel that they're abandoned. I feel like they're being connected with people. Um, yes, family changes for sure. So some good positive things happening. Yes, time to decide. So there, there are some, there's good things happening. It is a positive progression that is moving forward for your little one. So I feel like in the month of November and uh, happy... Well, yeah, your birthday is coming later this month, but um, happy early birthday to all the Sagittarians if you're um, watching this late, little babies, and happy uh, giving birth day to all the parents who gave birth to Sagittarians this month. So your child is nurturing themselves. Whatever it was, their vitality was just zapped, and they are regaining steam. They're getting back to themselves. Um, as far as the orphan card in reverse, I'm getting, I'm just, I'm feeling like they're catching a second wind that they don't feel orphaned or abandoned. Now, I could be wrong. I want to look at the card because I know this card does talk about abandonment, but um, I think it's, um, I don't know, it's important to to note but it could also have different meanings so this card is saying the shadow side of this card speaks to the essence of abandonment perhaps you feel the need to remain apart because intimacy is um, too threatening it also warns against creating inappropriate family structures in order to conceal old wounds um, it's time to address any of uh, the unhealthy alliances you formed and make a decision time to decide family changes so if you're an adult this, is, this could be definitely speaking to something along with a relationship or some kind of family change that is uh, going on in your life. Um, but you're addressing those things that you formed in, um, and make a decision to heal the past. You will not be abandoned by the world if you claim yourself as whole. Not all relationships are dysfunctional and not all of them will disappoint you. Don't abandon yourself. You can connect with others in a healthy way to recognize or healthy way once you recognize your patterns and consciously choose to um, interrupt them. Life wants to love you, let it. So yeah, I think that we're saying the same thing that your child, depending on what it is, they felt maybe someone hurt them and now they're taking the initiative to care for themselves. But there is a, a charge within them that they no longer feel abandoned. They're, they're taking their power back and um this card in the reverse this message was just um kind of warning against that not to allow themselves to fall in this rut but to take charge and to and make those um, positive changes for themselves speaking of which what is changing there are some family dynamics that are changing for your child whether it's um, a way that they connect with another individual in the family Maybe you are pregnant with a child. Um, maybe the structure of your family is changing. There's many things. It's just in the dynamics of the family, there are some changes transpiring, some shakeups. Um, but ultimately, at the end, it, um, this, the solution is make a choice. Choose this day, you know, going forward, you know, who you will serve, how you live your life, whatever. But it's, it's giving your child an ultimatum to say, hey, okay, we've already gone through this, we've healed. Now, what's the next chapter gonna look like? What, what path do you wanna take from here on out? 
And it's saying, make a decision now so you can move forward. And I really feel that your child is going to be doing that. Um, so for you, my loves, you too are in a, uh, a position in a, um, of transition, I'll say that. This tells me of a, a transformative energy um, that it's almost spirit-like and wise. So you are brilliant. I think you were using your mind. I think you were looking for ways that you can create brilliance or manifest brilliance into your life. You're looking for opportunities to be brilliant, to create brilliant things, but it's just innovation. So it says today and every day, I am brilliant and on fire. I shine when it comes to reaching my goals and achieving my dreams. Today, I am committing my brilliance to create magic for myself, my family, my friends, and my colleagues. I will not hold back. Good for you. You are definitely in a place where you are making things happen. And I know you guys can't see this card well, but um, I'm really excited for you. I'm really excited for your family that you are being innovative, you are being creative to, to bring things to pass and your child is going through a transformation themselves where they want better choices and better outcomes for themselves. So um, that's all I have for you guys for the month of November. Enjoy it and we will see you guys next month. Thanks for watching. Take care.